Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm all right, mate. Thanks for asking. What do you think of Liverpool's season so far, then? It's been disappointing to say the least. That's because you have shit players. Whilst I admit this isn't the best squad we have ever had, I would say that the main problem we have had is that scraggy face did Roy Hodgson. He should be fired into space. But I like Roy Hodgson. He is a good manager. Roy Hodgson is a mid-table manager at best. He took Fulham on an unexpectedly successful Europa League run and deservedly won plaudits for it. But it's not like he actually won the fucking thing, is it? But I like Roy Hodgson. He is a good manager. He isn't particularly, though. Is he? He has managed an assortment of smaller end European teams and has done reasonably well in charge of the Swiss national team. Aside from that all he has to show for himself is largely unsuccessful spells in charge of Blackburn Rovers, Inter Milan and now Liverpool. But I like Roy Hodgson. He is a good manager. So you keep saying, but you are not even a Liverpool fan. Would you like to see Roy Hodgson in charge of the team that you support? Absolutely no fucking way. Exactly. But you insist on defending him. Why? Because I like Roy Hodgson. He is a nice guy and he is an Englishman. Firstly, I couldn't care less if he was the motherfucking Queen of England. And secondly, why is everyone so convinced that he is a nice guy? He comes across as prickly, overly defensive and frequently ingracious in interviews. But so too could Rafa Bennett. Yes, granted. Rafa could occasionally turn on a massive sulk. But he was in charge of the club during one of the most turbulent periods in its history. He also had already done extremely well with the club. But I hate Rafa Bennett. He is a shit manager. You say Rafa is a shit manager, but he has won two Spanish titles, a UEFA Cup, the FA Cup and a small matter of the Champions League. All Roy Hodgson has won is the Legoland Trophy in the Arctic Circle First Division, but he apparently is a good manager. Rafa Benitz is a shit manager. He has just been sacked by Inter Milan. Yes, I know. He unfortunately didn't do too well, but I still believe Inter Milan have made a mistake. They should have stuck with him at least, while they are still in Europe. But you say Roy Hodgson should be sacked. He has had a very similar start at Liverpool as Rafa had at Inter. Why shouldn't Hodgson stay in his job? When Rafa got sacked the Inter fans were still chanting his name. If Roy Hodgson got sacked tomorrow, not one fucker would be chanting his name. That about says it all. Oh, don't tell me. You one of these deluded Liverpool fans who thinks everything will be okay if Rafa Bennett comes back. Well, every fan of every club in the league wants him to come back too because he is shit. Lol. Ha 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 ha. I know, you all keep saying that, like it is hilarious. But he wasn't that shit, was he? So you do think he should come back? Well, I don't think he should have been sacked in the first place. Yes, we finished 7th in the league, but he had taken us to 2nd, and challenged for the title the season before. I think he deserved another season in charge, at least. Especially under new ownership. Having said that, though, I don't necessarily think he should come back now. Second stints in charge rarely work out for managers, but he would still be a massive improvement over that cunting owl face Hodgson. But why do you think you should be doing any better than you are at the moment? You Liverpool fans with your sense of entitlement. Sense of entitlement. Sense of entitlement. Every football fan in the world wants their team to do better. Why is it when Liverpool fans desire improvement, we are accused of having a sense of entitlement? Because you are always going on about your history. The things you won when dinosaurs walked the earth. In the last 10 years alone, we have won every major competition open to an English club, barring the Premier League. We have finished second in the Premier League twice, the last time being less than two years ago. No other team that has finished second in the Premier League in the last 10 years has not also won it. Why is it so outrageous for us to expect a title push? Because all your players are shit. We need the new owners 
to spend some cash on new players, but we still have the bones of a talented squad. We just need a good motivator to get them going, and that is not Hodgson. Did you see him slump down in his seat, slapping his own craggy face, when we lost to fucking Newcastle? Embarrassing. A manager who is capable of winning away from home occasionally would also be an improvement. So, who do you think should be your new manager? You are probably one of these deluded Liverpool fans who thinks that Jose Mourinho or Pep Guardiola would be interested in managing you. Jose wouldn't go near us, but he can fuck off anyway. He is clearly a brilliant manager, but the fans would probably hate him. Anyway, it's Man United fans that are convinced that either he or Guardiola are going to take over at Old Trafford when that pissed up cheeky monkey Ferguson retires. They are the deluded ones, apparently. Who do you think should be your manager then? Personally I think Owen Coyle would be good if we want to take a gamble on youth, or Martin O'Neill if we are looking for experience. Frank Ridgecutt might be risky, but he did turn Barcelona around a few years ago. I'm surprised no one's mentioned Fatty Terum either. Who is he? I'm not surprised you haven't heard of him. You don't know very much about football, do you? No. He was Turkey's manager at 2008 Euros, when they were the best attacking team in the tournament. He's also done well domestically at Galatasaray, AC Milan and Fiorentina. Oh. Do you have anything else to say? I hate Rafa Bennett. Anything else? I like Roy Hodgson. He is a nice guy. Anything else? Would you like to go back to my place? Yes, alright.